Hi, I'm Cameron Webb, and this is Marie Digby, and we're here at the Blue Recording Studios with Musician's Friend. And what we're doing today is we're going to talk about miking techniques of uh, a vocalist and an acoustic guitar at the same time. One of the important things with this is uh, the reason why we're going to capture her singing and playing acoustic at the same time is that uh, there's a tendency for a guitar player to play a certain style when they're singing along. They're going to be no more dynamic in the right spots. And when you isolate them and you say, hey, let's track the guitars first and later you do the vocals, you often make mistakes. And the, the singer is often is, is not as uh, excited about the performance. The hardest part about this whole process is that you have bleed through from both mics. And a microphone that um, her vocal is going to be captured in this mic and her guitar will be captured in this. And that's not the ideal goal when, when you're trying to record. You want to isolate things as much as you can. So what we're going to do is, is we do the best isolation we can possible, and then we just have to let the performance take over, basically. So in general, we're going to have this, vocal, this mic um, pretty close to her. We, we want to get up right up on that mic and sing really close. And this, this, this mic is pretty close as well. And um, the key is just, you know, if, if she strums decent, a decent level, she's not going too loud, not too much is going to go in here, and vice versa here. Um, another important thing that we're going to talk about a little bit is the importance of headphones. And uh, we have, uh, these blue headphones are awesome. They are very isolated, so you don't get any of, the, of what, what she is hearing into these microphones. But what it also does is it, it makes it really present. So she knows that she's right up close to that microphone, or she knows she's far. And that's an important thing, because if you're just sitting in the room, she doesn't know if we're we're affecting the recording by going back and forth like that. So she just knows when it's, when it's close. Um, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll both wear headphones so we'll know what, what, where we're at. Um, in general, just so you know, um, we're using the, the bottle rocket up here, which is awesome on vocals. Um, it's just a good, clear, it's got good bottom, good high end, a whole full, full roundness of a voice. And, and for the acoustic guitar, we're using the Dragonfly, because the Dragonfly, like, like the other videos we did, it's, it's got a good, clear sound. So, Marie, can I get you to just sing for a little bit a cappella and then maybe sing, and then just play a little acoustic guitar so they can hear the difference between the two sounds? Sure, okay. Life goes on as usual, but to my ears it's just noise. You're the only thing in focus. The rest is a blur, I suppose. So that's vocal only. Okay. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a little suggestion on mic technique and what we're doing. Is I noticed when you were singing, you closed your eyes so you didn't know where you were singing. Now, here's an important thing. She's going to do that the next time she does it too. So in general, what I'll normally do is I'm going to adjust the microphone, but I'm also going to put it in her head and say, hey, you know what? I need you to kind of be more direct into it because she was kind of off the side. So in general, I would just kind of nudge this over and maybe extend this. It's not very much, but so this will be more of her natural pose. Now, now sing a little bit and let's see if that makes a difference. Life goes on as usual, but to my ears it's just noise. Yeah. So to me, I hear a little bit of clarity in the high end because now she's going right into the diaphragm as opposed to before she was going a little off the side. And this is important in this kind of scenario because that difference of her shooting off the side means a less uh, direct sound of the vocal because we've got this other microphone that's also picking up a lot of the sound. All right, Marie, let's see what it sounds like when it's a performance all together, vocals and acoustic and everything. What do you say? Sounds good. Okay. My eyes are closed already. <laughs> it's okay, you can close your eyes. Life goes on as you show to my ears it's just noise You're the only thing in focus The rest is a blur I suppose that This is what I bet This is how it feels to be
was great, Marie. I love it. It's awesome. Um, everything she did was great. You notice that she kind of floats around the microphone, but it, it's in that general vicinity, so she's going to capture everything great. It sounds great in the headphones. I'm sure it sounds great in the control room as well. Um, is there anywhere we can hear more about you? Any 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 way, any websites or anything we should go to? Yep. Um, YouTube.com slash Marie Digby. It's spelled like Murray, but uh, Facebook.com slash Marie Digby. All, all the places, basically. Cool. We really appreciate you coming out here and performing. Thank you. You got a great voice and Thank you're so great much. at guitar. Appreciate that. Thanks for setting this up for me. No worries. If you want to learn some more great miking techniques, check out the rest of our series. And to learn more about blue microphones, go to musiciansfriend.com.